Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to the first episode of my commentary series. In this series, I'll be commentating on something, it can be anything, history, story, gameplay, games, guns, anything you like. Just let me know if you got any idea. Today's topic is how to choose the perfect shotgun for your gaming style. Now to answer the question. What is the best shotgun in Battlefield 4? Well, there is no best in anything. All that matters is you and your playstyle. I'll go over some things that you should know and give you a better idea of how to know what kind of style you're using. We have three styles to choose. The rusher, the camper and the one who uses tactics. The rusher is obviously the one who, also, who always rushes. If you wanna be a rusher then you must play solo and without a team. These people are, are game changers and wait for an, an opportunity to flank the enemy. They must all the time die because they rush all the time, but if you are a camper, believe me, you don't want to fight against a team of full rushers. And now for the campers. These are the people who sit in a corner and wait for someone who passes by and then they shoot them from behind. Great idea, right? These are the people who I hate the most, unfortunately. But we must remember why some people do this, not just judge them from a distance. Some people camp because they are new to the game, which is totally fine until they get to know the game better. Some people camp because their computer is not good enough to give them a good frame rate to do good in the game. Some others camp because their ping is too high to get a proper and fair match against their opponents. So there are a lot of reasons why some people camp and those reasons made part of the community campers. But that's just how life is, there are two parts of everything. And now the third part, which is the tactical players. What makes you win? If you play in a group, then you are a tactical player. They are in between rushers and campers. They are better than campers and rushers as well. They work in a group and they wait for their teammates and don't rush without having cover from their teammates. They don't stay in a certain place for too long and tend to move up every time they clear an area. They are the most effective of the three types. They are better than campers because they don't wait to shoot someone from behind. And they're better than rushers because rushers die more often but uh, groups can revive and protect one another. Which leads to victory. I had to explain the styles of gaming in order to give you an idea of which part you belong to. Now let's get back to choosing the right shotgun. I mainly categorize shotguns into two sections, auto shotguns and single shot shotguns. Auto shotguns are those that you don't have to reload every every shot, such as MTN14, Saiga, UTS, DBV, QBS, and DAO. The rest were single shot shotguns, which you have to reload after every shot. Now let's see which style goes with which kind. The rusher. Now, if you are a rusher, you have to think about one thing only: aim. Think about your aim. If your aim is really good and you can snipe your aim, snipe your aim to people from people, then I definitely recommend a single shot shotgun, especially the Spash 12. Not a lot of bullets, but an amazing damage and accuracy, very reliable to shot pe to one shot people. Now if you're still improving your aim, then I recommend an auto shotgun to think about missing a shot or two. I recommend the DBV 12 or the DAO 12, which are whichever you like more. They have a lot of rounds and their stats are very impressive. And now the campers. So I mentioned the three reasons why people camp. Now I'm gonna tell you what to use for each reason. If you are camping because you are new, then you definitely need to use the single shot shotguns and definitely the Spash 12. This will help you improve your aim much more than using an auto shotgun. You feel like being rewarded by a kill if you make the hit and get consequences if you miss which will make you more focused. If you're camping because of your frames, then you definitely need to use the auto shotguns, as you will miss because of your frames. I recommend the DAO 12 or the DBV 12, whichever you prefer for your personal use. If you're camping because of your ping, then I recommend using single shot shotguns as you want to kill him as soon as possible before he does any damage to you. The disadvantages of having a, a high ping are a lot and I might make a whole separate video explaining them. And remember that I recommend the Spash 12. Z tactical players. And not now if you are a tactical player then you should listen to the group leader about which shotgun you should bring. You always rely on your teammates when you are in a group. Choosing the right shotgun basically depends on your teammates. If you guys rush a room together then an auto shotgun is more useful as you want to do more damage to the biggest amount of people in the room, not killing them. 
If you guys enter room one by one, then a single shotgun is recommended because you are almost alone. Remember the past 12 best single shot shotgun for me. I hope that I answered some of your questions. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of this commentary series and what you like to see commentated about. If you could share this video, it will mean a lot to me. And so far, your support has been the best support I ever received. I thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave you guys with the gameplay of my favorite shotgun. May God be with all of you. Thank you for the follow, bro. What? I thought Slux was horrible. No, Saja, I do not. Sorry for the team kill. Thank you, Shrunk, for the two dollar donation. May love you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Allied mercenaries, hostile mercenaries. Now the important thing here, if you want to make a multiplayer map, you have to do some stuff. If you want to make a team deathmatch map, you have to go to team deathmatch.